Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to show you how to jailbreak the iPhone 4S on iOS 5.1.1. I'll prove so um, by going into, uh, let's see right here, uh, settings, fuck, come on, general, about, and then it will say iOS 5.1.1. And I got to do this really quickly um, because this is my mom's and I'll be getting it later and I want to get the SHSH blob so I can always jailbreak. So just click jailbreak, it will say connecting to the device, beginning jailbreak, this may take a while. And uh, I'll show you the screen of the iPod Touch right here. And this uh, this jailbreak minutes to the restore, and it's AppSync version 2.0.4. And basically, I'm just gonna jailbreak open open Cydia and get the SHSH blobs, um, which is really all I honestly care about. I just want to get the blob so I can downgrade when my mom gives me this when she gets the iPhone 5 or I may get the iPhone 5 so make sure you don't touch it when it says restore and process and it will show up the battery um, which is very important and I really need to do this quick and get the case back on or she knows I fucked with it or you know but um, yeah <clears throat> jailbreak is very quick and it will start the respring mode do not unlock it once it respring's it's very important wait till wait a couple uh, minutes after it says the jailbreak is done if you just want to be sure um, so yeah, and uh, yeah, um, this is a really easy jailbreak. It won't take you too long um, since the servers are not getting flooded right now. I just want to make sure I can get Cydia on this iPod, on this iPhone. So when I have it, I will always have a jailbreak. And the blobs are just the things that are really important to me because now there is actually a way to downgrade the iPhone 4S. Uh, I am recording this with my iPhone 4. I do have my Nikon D3100 and D3200. I just simply didn't have the time to get it out and charge it. So at this point, um, the Restore logo kind of came up, but it's not restoring your iPhone or iPod. Don't worry. Um, I forgot to mention that this jailbreak will work on the iPad 3 and A4 and A5 based devices so it's going to respring and it's going to show you that you can unlock it as it searches for service do not unlock it wait till the jailbreak is actually finished okay so when your screen goes numb that that's okay that's fine um but make sure your computer stays awake um so right now it's just installing Cydia um so yeah and then we'll say done enjoy at that point, you can unlock your device, and you'll see Cydia somewhere. Okay, there's Cydia, and it will prepare the file system. I just need to get the SHSH blobs right here, and then I can go and hide Cydia in some distant location. Um, but this is the 4S. It does have the antenna brace. Uh, this is the CDMA model, so if something's not right, then I guess you would know why. Okay, it does have the SIM card, in fact. Um, which I didn't know because I never really got to use the SIM card. But I will be looking forward. My iPhone 4 does not have that. So I will be looking forward to unlocking this. And uh, I don't have any unlocks now. Um, but at this point we can uh, disconnect our device and exit out of Absinthe. As Cydia prefers the file system. And really SHSH blobs are really important. Um, so if you don't have that, make sure you do. Um, you can leave the device connected, but right now it has preferred the file system, so real respring. And I'm just gonna disconnect the device right now. Um, so right there, Verizon iPhone 4s. And then we'll just open Cydia, and we're a user, so we'll just click user. And um, Cydia loads really fast with the A5 and A5X processors. I know this because I have an iPad 3. That is not my mom, so we'll say all this stuff is new. And it says iPhone 4S, iOS 5.1.1, Cydia 1.1.6. So this jailbreak won't take you more than uh, five minutes, and then you can get right to Cydia, open it up, and wait for your SHSH blobs. And right there, uh, you can see SHSH iOS 5.1.1, which is really why I jailbroke my mom's iPhone, because... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I just really wanted that because I knew she was going to give this to me. And now i got to hurry up and figure out a way to put it back in the outer box case since I actually don't own one of these. So I'm assuming, I'm assuming it's going to be pretty hard. Right here, I think we got to do something here, but whatever. We'll just let this load. And I, I have I have really noticed something. Cydia isn't loading on my iPod Touch for some reason. Um, so I'm going to restore it and jailbreak with 
make sure you get all the necessary upgrades done. And I'm sure mom's gonna ask me what is this? Did you jailbreak my iPhone? And I'm gonna because she's totally against it because she's an Apple fangirl or fanboy or whatever. And we'll just update the server a second time. But yeah, that's basically how you jailbreak your uh, iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch on iOS 5.1.1.